Willy Wonka, who's the greatest guy in the world, Willy Wonka. He's making a Timmy, that makes you all so dandy. Who's the greatest guy in the world, Willy Wonka. In the world, Willy Wonka. Who's the greatest guy in the world, Willy Wonka. Boys for lots of girls and boys. Who's the greatest guy in the world, Willy Wonka. Once upon a time, in a small town not too far away, there's a boy named Charlie. He lived with his, he lived with his mother and his four grandparents in a small town, a small house, and then for a big town. How do you do? And how do you do? And how do you do again? He's very glad to meet you. So, this is why they lived in that small town, because they were too poor. And this is, this is about the torture of wander back. Alright. So we never paid very much money. His father was... Why about his father was dead? I'm worried about Charlie. He works too hard for someone his age. He should have some time for fun. Some off hours a day. With new handicapped and beggars, he's all worth his family. Well, he's father alive. So I got my shirt back, I'm gonna help this family. Dad, of all the years you said that, you're not gonna find enough strength to help anyone. I wish I could. Hello there. Grandpa George, Grandma Georgina, Grandma Justine, Grandpa Joe. Want some food? Oh, good. So it's school today. It's great. Great the paper route is finished. Well, I should tell you something. I was passing Wonka's factory today, and there was a man looking at the factory. I think it was a tinkerer. He said, nobody goes into that place, no goes out. You should know. Nobody ever goes to this place. Not since the current day, Willy Wonka locked that factory. Why do you lock it? The only other K-Mag factory was selling in spies. Just to warp his service, Mark Wonka's secrets. Mr. Wonka shouted, I'll be ruined! I'll have to close the factory! That's what he did. Locked the keys and dashed completely. It's only about three years later, but it's amazing could happen. Factory work started working at full blast. More delicious kids came out than before. He said, No one, absolutely no one could sell. Someone must be helping him. Who is helping him? That is the biggest mystery of them all. What do you think you should know? I got the paper today and it said, Wonka's factory might be open to the lucky few. It said, there's going to be five golden tickets to five lucky winners from any in the any can you bar. I don't know, it was in the hall. Charlie finding one. Sure enough, the next day, the first tip was stalled. Oh my boy, they were going to school. Probably we are. The proud, proud town of Dusseldorf focuses in Germany. Look at the proud. Bus school. Bus school. Proud of Western Germany. The proud is out of the whole world. Because the society feels like you're the first to go dig it. I agree. That's the choice. I got sorry about Bamka. This guy calls him a bunch of impudge. Because the school is proud of fighting. He's always interested. It's all white men. The best boy that he needs in the direction, which is as proud as it can be. This terrible, very repulsive boy. And sure enough, in London, in England, the second world in Nicholas wouldn't be caught. I want to be the first one to ride the golden ticket! I know, Miss Bot. No, Baruka, we have to unlock. Alright, what is it? I'm the man that found it! Baruka, give me time! I'm not in 
magician! I want it now! What's wrong with those twats? We had some luck. That's all right. Please find it! What noise? I want it now! Move it! Move it! This one might have got to be because I want that bunch of paper again! Not even trying to guess me! I can't push her any harder. It's working for hours and hours. It's probably like finding the next day! Might be our pop is finding. I'm gonna speak to you again! You're a rotten mean bully, you know you mean anything I want! And I won't go to school to have it. See Faruka, sweetheart, angel, darling! Well, they fought against that, and it was funny enough! What do we do? I thought I thought I thought it! Sure enough, Faruka saw fun on the second world ticket. She was even more repulsive. She needs a good kick in the pants, does she? Everyone. People were going for mad searches to That's the second ticket. In Russia, China, England, France, Tokyo, everywhere. Or some guy in the computer said we'd find ten tickets. The computer piece of tell. We gave Sir Rob Beck at ten million dollars. These kids were arrested. Found him, found him on rabbit and he came with a large dagger. It was Charlie's birthday. Happy birthday, Charlie! Happy birthday! Uh, terrific. She did a bit. Grandma George, oh, she goes, just be a me. Here's another girl from Grandpa George and me. It's Wonka. Open it. I want to see that gold. Let me see. Well? No, not here. So I had it. Mine. The fun one. The wall shirt, wild bite. No, 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 it's all yours. You take it. I remember the people were searching everywhere for those tickets. Mad searches. Only for one going to three shops, getting tickets. There's people earning laundry spike tickets. There's people going crazy buying their tickets. And eventually one day. Hi! I found the third golden ticket. My name is Bob Beauregard. That's how you found it. I'm going to turn it on away. And when I heard about these tickets in the wild, because I left the uh, government switch to K word and how much you like it. Now, of course, the background's gone. I dress the door gone. Hey, Charlie Day, it's from the old time. I stick right here. Bye. Right. Call it, mother! This comic truth is for three months solid. That's not a world record. She right with my right with Corpus Bun. And boy, was she mad. Uh, I, I know he's got a fully with lots of gun for years. Woohoo! Now, now Lucky Warren over his floor. Let's beat Mike TV. Wanna shut that thing off? Are you crazy? Are you crazy? What wants to hear about the ticket? Shut up! I'm busy. I wish you would have done wrong. I love all these shooting guns. You know the problem ones when there's no shooting. You know, if they're, they're pumping each other full of lead, the flash to us, oh, the lows, give me the old one, two, three, and knock on us. I'd be doing it myself. It's a life, believe me. And meanwhile, this is Bucket that her about in the pamper when she was coming home from the laundromat. I don't believe this. Is it true all children act like this nowadays when these flashing her about news? I'm sure the fifth one goes some undeserving kid that doesn't deserve it. One night, Grandpa Joe will control you out. Why can't we be out, Grandpa? Something wrong? Mm -hmm. Grandpa, that way was your tobacco. I know, give it up. Well, let's open it. You open it. No, um, which one do I open it? Um, that is. Tiny bit. This? A bit more. You open it. I'm too nervous. You open it. All right. Nervous. What's in this little funny side of it? And the first killed laughter. <laughs> Fine. I think go to sleep.
the excitement of of Wonka Factory and all that's forgotten. This contest had all been forgotten. Now she's not firm to get it. She had nothing to eat. Then it began to snow. At first, a few feathers swarming the wood. Then heavy things were quickly covered everything. So fell and fell and fell and didn't want to do. The bucket family had to starve. I tried not to come at home, but still he felt hungrier than usual. He thought he saw a dollar in it. Oh, he paid the... Picked it up. A whole dollar. It never meant one thing. It meant food. When he was the nearest candy shop. <coughs> Hi. I'd like more job. Okay. What kind? Sibler, Sizzler, um... Look at our Chromion. Walk on my shovel this is dark. Ah, uh, one little scrub delicious bar. Okay? Now we'll take this around. I don't want to hide these anymore. Take it easy. You got reflux if you swap like that. Bye. I'll take one more. My grandpa Joe. Wing one more this time. I don't know what to do. We have to find the bar. We have to find the bar. Kind of looks like curious. Can't run around the bar. There was a golden ticket. Oh my god, you found the golden ticket right here! Don't tear it! That thing's precious! I've been searching that thing for weeks and weeks. I've been searching for the fifth golden ticket for weeks. Now buy for you. Ten dollars. You killed you should give him five hundred dollars that. The only way you have it. Why don't you help it don't stop when you get there? Thank you! I'll see you soon! Anyway, Mrs. Bucket returned home from the water or not. She was worried about losing her job. She was trying to fill the piece of grandparents are eating. So, Flickery, why are you about to take it? I'm about to take it, it's mine! Is this a joke? No one's already tickets. What does it take? I found it in the paper. This is in the paper. I found some money in your street. I bought two kid boards and it's amazing. I found the ticket, it's mine! Read a joke for him to see. Brings you the lucky find this ticket from Mr. Wally Wonka. Set this ticket at the factory gates at 10 o'clock in the morning on the first day of February and do not be late. You may bring with you one member of your own family but no one else. In your wildest dreams you cannot imagine, the most surprising thing to await you, you die! I'm a yay! Hallelujah, praise the Lord. Grandpa, I wish you could go. I'll go. I'll take him. I'll take good care of him. I know. I don't know what character you think should go. It's been really exciting. I'll take good care of him, really. Okay. Wait a minute. It says 10 o'clock in the morning. First day of February. First day of February. That's tomorrow. Oh my god, we have a lot to do. Cover your hair, wash your face, polish your shoes. Shoes, iron your shirt, blow your nose, brush your teeth. You don't have a lot of time. Grandpa. Relax. No, there's a knock on the door. This is fucking where they answer it. All those reporters that have come to get the story from the papers. The complete pandemonium in the house. It's been midnight before they fucking get rid of them and go dead. 